Day Mandela. This is Alina from the news studio and here is your update. Hey there Mandela, this is Amrit from the news studio and today we are going to see the robotic scrimmage. So a bunch of junior high school students and a bunch of high school students are going to be here competing in what's called a scrimmage. A scrimmage is basically like a face-off of some sorts where we drive robots and they, you know, face off each other. So come on, let's go take a look at what our team and other teams have in store. Hi Jajar. Hi. Introduce yourself. My name is Jajar. I'm uh, part of uh, Team 7277 build team. What are you working on right now? Uh, the basic bot for today's scrimmage. That's cool. How do you feel about working? Um, it's pretty fun. I, I encourage a lot of grade 10s, actually in any grade you're in, I encourage you to join the robotics team. It can be a really good opportunity to build connections and uh, just gain experience about the world. How do you feel about the event so far? The event has only just begun. Um, right now, feeling a little nervous, but other than that, excited to see what other teams have come up with. I'm excited to see what um, our team has come up with. So, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi there, Saroop. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good too. Okay, um, introduce yourself to the people that don't know you. Okay, hi guys, my name is Saroop. You guys may have met me in other extracurriculars or just in robotics. I'm usually just walking around doing something. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> um, what team are you in for robotics? Um, as of right now, I'm on 7277 and maybe 21. I'm not fully sure yet. Uh, but, and, and I'm also on the Inspires team, so. Okay. Uh, that's another fellow Inspires member. How's the scrimmage going so far? Um, it's going pretty good right uh -huh. now. It's it's just started, but it's actually it's going amazing. We're having a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So for our viewers that don't really know what a scrimmage is, can you explain it? Okay, so every year we have like a robotics competition, FTC, um, and the scrimmage is working towards kind of helping teams uh, get to um, get to understand what uh, this year's challenge is about and helping we're trying to help them as best as we can with design, build, uh, whatever that is and whatever help they need. Our, our job is to kind of just help in whatever support we need. Um, it can be like anything, it could just be resources. Um, but the scrimmage is about like getting the FTC challenge started. Uh -huh. So it's it's mainly like a kickoff to uh, our school and to the robotics, um, the robotics competition that we are doing this year. Um, it's really fun, you get to know more people, you get to like, you know, build connections with others and learn new things. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Sarup. No problem. Okay. Hi there, what's your name? Bob Hartling. Uh, what school are you from? Tom Baines. That's pretty cool. What, um, what are you most excited about for the robotics season this year? Oh, I'm really excited about all the learning that the students are doing during the build process and this event has been so amazing, uh, allowing them to connect with the rest of the community and um, uh, really excited for the competition, for our first competition. Best of luck to your team, thank you so much. Great, thank you. Hi there. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Miss Buick. What school are you from? North Trail High School. Uh, what are you most excited about for this season? Uh, so we're a rookie team, so I'm actually really excited to start up a new program at the new high school with all of the things that we get to do. Um, yeah. Yeah, because North Trail is a new high school, right? Yes. 
Where is North Trail High School? It's in um, up kind of between Panorama Hills um, and Harvest Hills. And, um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi there. What's your guys' name? I'm Mrs. Corey. And I'm Mrs. Little. Um, what school are you guys from? We are from Peter Lougheed. Yeah, uh, just right next door to Mandela. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you guys most excited about for this robotic season? Because I know a lot of teachers are sharing how excited they are for this season. I'm excited about that we have a very, very young team. I think we only have three grade nine students really? and the rest are grade eight. So I'm excited about how much they're going to learn this year. Uh, what about you? And I'm really excited about how excited our students are to be here and be part of robotics. So that makes me really excited too. Yeah. I'm really excited to see you guys' progress. Um, thank you so much for the interview. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hi there, Mr. Johnston. Hello. Um, can you introduce yourself for the people that don't know you? I'm Mr. Johnston. I'm a robotics teacher at Nelson Mandela High School. I also teach design studies. I taught math and I have a science background. Um, what is one thing that you were really excited about for this season and you're looking forward to? Uh, in our robotics season, I'm excited about the students learning. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds mm -hmm. a little corny because yeah, I can be a little corny, is. but... <laughs> But what it comes down to is the learning is key and seeing what the students can do through the season with their robots and with the outreach because our robotics program isn't just about the robots, mm -hmm. it's also about the outreach and seeing them mentor the younger students and do their outreach program is absolutely amazing. Credit to Mr. H for that. What is one mes message that you want to tell like your students in robotics? Um, always learn. There's great resources out there if you encounter a problem. I know your social studies teacher and your other teachers don't like you to use Google, but <laughs> I encourage it. Go out to the vast knowledge that is on Google and use it, use it, use it to solve the problems that you're going to encounter in everyday life. Okay. Thank you so much for the interview. You're welcome. Buddy, okay. don't act like you never took anything from my team. I didn't take anything from your team. This year? Or last year? This year. Okay, this year, nothing. Last year, I should. I have four. I have like two extra that I don't need. I'm assuming they're from the trailer. So I'm going to consolidate them in the next team. Let's go for it. Hi there, Mr. Wei. Hello. Um, how are you today? I'm very well. Very well. This is amazing. Love robotics events. Um, so can you introduce yourself for people that don't know you? So I'm Mr. Way. I helped open this place. I've been here since we opened Mandela in 2016. I've been the robotics teacher here since then, teaching some computer science right now and running the Mandela United Squadron Robotics Program. They're the ones that have all the banners all around the school here and have events like this all the time. So you're an OG of some sorts? OG, absolutely. Yeah, there's not OG. many of us left, but there's a few of us left. Okay. Um, how do you feel about like the robotics team right now? I'm really hopeful for our robotics team this year. We get a little bit of a rebuilding team in some ways. A lot of our really strong members from around COVID time graduated, but we've still, we're still running four robots. We're having a great time doing it, and I'm really excited for how these guys are going to do in our new, uh, our new Calgary East League, which is called the Knee Misty League. We've used the Blackfoot word for uh, East on this one, and we get to compete against pretty much everybody who's here today at this event. That's pretty cool. Okay, thank you so much for the interview. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much for participating in this interview for those that did. Um, good luck to our Mandela Squadron for the upcoming season. And thank you so much for watching. Till next time, this is Amrit Preet from the newsroom. Stay tuned. Are you in need of a sweet treat? Next week, there will be a candy gram event next week and the week after. After all, all the money will be going towards the grad committee for graduation ceremonies and such things like that for the class of 2024. Do not forget that next, next week on October 28th, there will be no school. This is your news update. This is Alina. Alina, see you Mandela.